This card chosen for you is from the Fairy Forest, an oracle of the wild green world by Lucy Cavendish. Card number 16, Soulkin, recognition, family, kinship. We often wish for our relationships to endure long beyond their lifespan. Friendships and relationships have been drawn to us according to the lessons the soul wishes to learn. There are relationships that are more super superficial and there are those that touch us deeply. With great love comes the possibility for pain. And each of us must come to some kind of peace with the truth that there are relationships that will not be sustained for this lifetime. When we feel this deep recognition and when we find it very difficult to let a person go, we may be dealing with soul kin, a being with whom we may be traveling through lifetimes. This thread of relationship is strong and connected with you at present, and you have encountered a person who speaks to your very soul. Know that for now, this connection is grounded, nourishing, and full of faith. It may shift and change in time, but for now the friendship is strong and full of mutuality, respect for each other's growth, and dedication to the highest purpose for both of you. In time, this may change as your souls have their own destinies, and this sometimes means there will be a departure from a common code and path. But for now, this connection is one of soul family, of kin, and is one you can draw on for your own sustenance and also contribute to, for the beautiful purpose of being a shining light for others. Artwork, Dusk Elves. This card chosen for you is from the Fairy's Oracle by Brian Froud, text by Jessica Macbeth. Card number 19, The Sage. Wisdom, hidden knowledge, retreat, old age, patience. The sage is also the shaman. Not all wise men are shamans, and not all shamans are wise men, but this one is both. Power informed by wisdom and wisdom made manifest by power. This is also the face of Father Time, and we see the colors of the seasons surrounding him. Sometimes he is old, man of the mountain, the hermit who searches within for wisdom and understanding, and then is willing to share it with any true seeker who comes to him. His blind eye enables him to look into other worlds, other realms, and the wisdom buried deeply within each of us, where the singers dwell. He has reached a stage of life where he has let go of many of the activities of younger beings, retreated somewhat from the outer world of fairy, and has become more deeply immersed in the inner landscapes of knowledge, inner vision, contemplation, and spirit. On the exterior, he lives simply, almost austerely, but his inner world is filled to overflowing with richness. In order to pursue his studies more thoroughly, the sage has cultivated detachment. Some may see this as remoteness or coldness, but he is no less loving for that. The sage finds the inner connections between everything. He sees the connections, relationships, and consequences between seemingly separate ideas, beings, and things. Love and compassion are the inevitable consequences of seeing truly, and this leads the sage to share his learning with others. Like any other wise elder, he leads by gently teaching from his vast store of wisdom. When asked for his judgment about something, he is discriminating and generous-hearted. He turns a blind eye to punishment, feeling that what is needed is mercy and a way of teaching those who err so they will not make the same mistakes again. The sage is constantly learning, while on the other hand he values tradition and stability. 
He also understands the, and values the need for growth and change. He can't go for a walk or a flight around the neighborhood without discovering something new and trying to see how it fits into the whole. He is always expanding his understanding of reality and deepening his awareness. As we develop patience and compassion intertwined, we begin to manifest the wisdom of the sage. Here we see wisdom and deep inner understanding. One of the keys of wisdom is to organize, integrate, and simplify one's thoughts. Complexity often leads to confusion. Simplicity is to be valued. This card signifies mental discipline informed by balanced learning and compassion. Tradition is valued by appropriate change, but appropriate change is accepted. The sage knows